Hello, Pi Pals. I'm back. I know. You must be thinking, where or oh, where is the Pipe Monk? Well, a few things happened last month when I started uploading uh, the first impressions videos. Uh, the workplace I was working in, they shifted buildings. Um, the distance is the same, basically, but uh, the area in which the new building is, is very, very busy. It's extremely busy at peak hours. So, um, I was going uh, to work early and coming back late because of that and getting uh, a taxi or anything was was really difficult. So, but luckily, uh, lots of apps in India for booking your taxi and all. We have Uber, we have Ola cabs, we have Taxi for Sure and 20 million others. So that was one of the one of the many reasons I was not able to make videos. The second reason being, uh, as you know, I got admission in a degree program in India, and uh, I was busy studying and uh, making assignments, and I was able to, uh, you know, study and do all the assignments before the due date. The due date was thirtieth of September, and. Uh, I uploaded the last assignment um, in the evening, uh, 5 p.m. in the evening. I uploaded the assignment on the 30th. And afterwards, um, I got busy in uh, some client meetings at work. I had to book my schedule for my exams. And uh, that basically uh, got the major chunk of my month last month. So my apologies for not making more videos lots of things coming up actually uh, one of the things what happened to me was uh, I've been smoking lots of quiet nights and it's uh, quite a sublime but strong uh, blend uh, so it messed up my uh, mouth chemistry uh, everything I tasted uh, you know tasted salty everything I smoked it is tasted salty um, I was not smoking anything for like seven days, eight days, and now I'm totally off. Um, I, I mean, I I'm smoking like one bowl or two bowls of Latakia base blends um, in a week. So today, <laughs> talking to you, uh, I'm smoking my last tin of Christmas cheer 2014. Um, Last year when I got into pipe smoking, I was not aware of uh, these seasonal blends and I only got two tins just out of curiosity and uh, uh, I opened up one tin last month. Uh, as you all know, Tommy was here, talking Tommy from UK. Uh, he was here in India in Hyderabad. So um, I sent uh, a, a little sample to him from my first end of Christmas year, then after a few days I opened this one as well. So I've been smoking Christmas year 2014. This year, um, I'm hoping to get at least 10 to 80 tins before the stock runs out on uh, with the uh, online retailers. So 2014 uh, is really nice. I mean, I only aged for like a few months. Like from this is a packing. Uh, from July 2014 so a year and a few months it's been aging in the tin what's more uh, my exams um, my first semester exams are starting on 28th of October uh, 28th, 29th, 30th, then 3rd of November and 4th of uh, November I will be giving my exams and then I'll be going to my home city for a family marriage. My cousin is getting married so I'll be back by the uh, 8th, um, yeah by the evening of 8th I'll be back so I'll be catching my flight for going back because my home city is not near, it's around uh, 2,000 miles away from here, 1,800, 2,000 miles uh, away from here. Well, 
I was not making videos, but that didn't mean I was not doing anything in the bike community. Um, as you all know, I launched my website for my tobacco reviews and you know things which I like. And you know, after smoking a pipe for almost more than a year, what I see around me here is that people actually people all over the world but i'm talking in context of um the indians around me other people around me um cigarettes are basically really messing up extremely messing up the health of people here and that is the reason i took up pipe smoking thanks to my ex fiance uh, she got me into pipe smoking uh, and the reason I took up really seriously, I got serious about pipe smoking was that my grandfather, my father, my grandmother, all three um, died because of smoking related issues. My grandfather was the was lucky enough to live a, you know, to the ripe old age of 87. But yeah, he developed COPD, that's a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Anyone who smokes, who's been smoking cigarettes for a few months, basically has it it just comes out when you are um, at, a, at an advanced age my father oh, had hypertension and uh, he was a chain smoker and then he developed diabetes when he was 45 years old and uh, around 42 43 years old and he expired because of a massive heart attack when he was working abroad uh, my grandmother developed lung cancer because of that and she expired with that. So my family has a history of uh, cardiac uh, problems and uh, that is the reason I've been actively avoiding cigarettes. I still smoke a few at office because there's no time for smoking a pipe there. But um, I've it's like one cigarette a day or maybe not even that. But yeah, I'm uh, almost at the verge of quitting those cigarettes and just relying heavily on pipe smoking. Uh, apart from that, I was, I've was i been in talks with lots of uh, pipe makers, um, independent artisans and factories as well. Uh, I contacted Seven Ali, but they basically don't talk to small time people. And India India is a big market, but it, it, it the market for pipe and pipe tobacco has to be developed. Plus the main factor of not of this kind of uh, you know lifestyle not developing is the amount of taxes levied on these products like pipes have a uh, customs uh, duty of 42 percent tobacco has 45 percent and uh, you know other things uh, in the similar range whatever is tobacco related so that is a big hurdle but uh, I've been working with a few friends who run websites who run their businesses abroad UK, US, you know, in other countries, and uh, I was able to get a few things for uh, the Pipe Monk store, the, the website. Um, I'm not trying to run a business here, I'm just trying to provide a, f a starting point uh, for anyone who is interested for pipe smoking in India. So, looking into that, I uh, in August I started buying some estate pipes, some really good vintage estate pipes. They are in, in they are in restoration, um, and uh, uh, in a few months I'll be updating uh, the website as as the restoration jobs are done and they are shipped out to me. But to start with, if you go to the website thepipemonk.com, you'll see um, the Peterson Christmas 2015 pipes are there uh, around nine models. Uh, I have a few estate pipes. Uh, which are really affordable for people in India and if you're not in India, but you are in the neighboring country um, You can even order uh, shipping is not much. I am actually not not earning anything. I'm after taxes and the cut form from PayPal or the payment processor and all these I'm earning around two to five three four five dollars on that at least I'll be able to buy some tobacco <laughs> you know offering these things so yeah i'm basically focusing off on a little bit of new pipes old pipe estate pipes affordable pipes a little bit of tobacco um then of course pipe accessories and stuff so um i i'm not a businessman i don't have 
uh, you know, 30, 40, 50,000 um, uh, in, you know, lying around to invest in a, in a proper business here in India. And even if I do, it will take a long time to develop this business. And uh, I don't plan to live in India for a long time. So yeah, I'm doing it as a hobby and it's, a, it's my passion, one of my passions uh, to see uh, lots of, at least the people around me take up pipe smoking and leave uh, cigarette smoking. Um, apart from that, I'm also uh, talking to a few new aspiring pipe makers and a few reputed ones you know, to slowly get a few of their uh, you know, artisan level pipes and to India if somebody is interested. I'll do a proper video. Um, my next video will be uh, on how, you know, just showcasing, just showing you guys uh, what things I have planned for my website. Uh, and after that, I'm, I've started uh, smoking cigars once in a while. So I'll be doing a little bit of a review for cigars for people who are interested in smoking a cigar who are regular pipe smokers or cigarette smokers but they want to basically you know try cigars once in a while. So I did two videos one is online on the channel and the second one I, I actually shot two months ago but I was not able to you know add it up and make it online so uh, expect that this coming week um, I'll still be busy. Uh, in my exams and my preparations so uh, it will be a slow for this month but by the next month it will be the schedule will be back another thing uh, which uh, I was into I got hold of a few tens of Aaron Murph Lake uh, from my friends here in India there's cigars India people really nice guys they do cigars the, if you want good cigars in India, go to their website until I stock them. <laughs> Anyways, so I got a few tins of Erinmore Flake and what I did was I baked the tin, the sealed tin, I baked it in my uh, toaster oven for like 6 hours, 5 hours, 6 hours at 85 degree Fahrenheit. Sorry, at around 85 degree Celsius, sorry. So, what happened was the tobacco became like this I did this around 2-3 weeks ago and then I uh, basically forgot about the tin uh, what I was uh, reading about this about baking Virginia forward you know tins, tobaccos on pipesmagazine.com uh, forums and uh, this was an interesting um, uh, project to do uh, after baking yeah of course the flavors have gone up the the flakes have been have gone really dark it's if you if, if you have smoked Elmo flake you understand the the flakes which come are basically light tan in color uh, a little lightish brown and caramel color but if you have seen this flakes they are really dark Lots of uh, this tin aroma basically becomes of a bread loaf. Smells really nice of bread. It's a very light uh, flake, aromatic flake, but it has a little bit nicotine in it. But I'm happy to love actually high nicotine blend. So for me, it's a very nice uh, mild uh, smoke. Anyways, I'll, that was my status for the last month. What I've been up to. Uh, what do you guys have been up to? Please let me know uh, in the comments below. And do visit the website and uh, do let me know um, what can you know what can be done. Uh, what is your suggestion in improving the website? So my focus on the website is still on reviews. I'm still updating uh, the articles on my website, and uh, I'll try to do uh, more content, more reviews for you guys. I've been smoking a lot of uh, tobaccos, these are new tobacco stasis. So uh, keep tuned for that as well. I have a few things before I go. I have to, I have a few things to discuss 
but I won't be discussing it in this video. Just wanted to make a small update video for you guys. It's already 15 minutes approaching. Yeah, it's over 15 minutes now. But uh, in the next, uh, I've seen lots of disturbances globally in my country, um, in the U.S., other countries. Um, I think I need to have us. I need to express myself and I've to lots of people in the pipe community and uh, especially uh, what I feel is like people hating on other human beings. So lots of controversies, lots of issues. I understand this is a pipe and tobacco channel but we as pipe smokers, sorry for that, it's still very early in the night uh, for India. Um, I think there are issues which we should be discussing, we should be expressing ourselves as human beings and what I found is that pipe smoking community is one of, has, is one of the biggest, kindest uh, community in the world. Uh, I've been a gamer for like 15-20 years and uh, apart from a small group there you will not find, I mean you'll find lots of uh, things which should not be there. But anyways, these guys are not going to stop. So I'll end the video here and I'll talk to you really soon. Till the next time, see ya.